since obtaining the Shinong corner space from part of heavenly punishment, I have been collecting golden fingers in the heavens and experiencing various wonders in different worlds. Keywords of the novel I am collecting gold fingers in the heavens without pop-ups. I am downloading the complete collection of gold fingers in the heavens. I am reading the latest chapters of gold fingers in the heavens. Chapter 1 Get this Shinon Corner Space at the beginning of the game. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Get this Shinon Corner Space at the beginning of the game March 7, 2012. Yu Province, Yangcheng. Xinye Community. A three block, room 1908. In the single room transformed from the living room, a golden light enveloped a sleeping man on the bed. The man with broken hair and closed eyes can only be said to be a bit handsome, with slightly white skin. He is about 178 meters tall and between the ages of 25 and 26. Suddenly, the emerald light receded like a tide and fell into an iron ring on the middle finger of the man's right hand. The last bit of light faded away, and the sleeping man also opened his dark eyes. Wu Siyuan sat up from the bed with slightly confused eyes, looking at the nameless iron ring on his right hand. He was uncertain in his heart and said, Is this a dream? But can dreams be so real? The nameless iron ring was accidentally found by Wu Siyuan in the wilderness when he was young. Due to its appropriate size and some kind of psychological mischief, Wu Siyuan has been wearing it on his hand. If there is anything unique about the nameless iron ring, it is that as Wu Siyuan grew older and his body developed, the nameless iron ring seemed to have elasticity and remained in the appropriate size. Due to his habit of wearing it since childhood, Wu Siyuan had never thought about it before. It wasn't until last night, after a busy day, that when Wu Siyuan returned to his accommodation and opened his mobile novel app, he wanted to read some online novels to relax and suppress his nerves, his unnamed iron ring suddenly emitted a golden light, and his consciousness fell into darkness. By the time he regained consciousness, his thoughts had already attached themselves to another man. At first, Wu Siyuan thought he had encountered time travel. From the memory of the possessed man, it is known that his name is Qian Pinji and he is a member of the World Green Association, with a considerable value. It can be seen from the villa area where he lives. But as Wu Siyuan continued to read the memories of the possessed man, he realized that it was not simple. This man named Xian Pinji actually has golden fingers. A small cow horn found from a street stall. Perhaps Qian Pinji was born with a keen sense of human beings, and he unexpectedly discovered a unique cave inside this little cow horn. It contained about an acre of land and a glowing body emitting heat in the air. Qian Pinji relied on this golden finger to get rich all the way, and he was also seeking the possibility of further expanding the space of this little bull horn. Finally, he discovered that by planting rare plants, the interior space of the calf horn could be slowly increased. And now, he is waiting in the villa for the courier to deliver some rare rice seed. However, these are not the main points. But looking at these familiar and unfamiliar memories, Wu Siyuan suddenly remembered. Isn't this the world constructed by the novel, The Heart of Heavenly Punishment? Isn't it the male lead he possessed? To be honest, Wu Siyuan, who has just crossed over, lacks the composure of his predecessors and is a bit flustered. At that moment, the doorbell rang. Wu Siyuan opened the door and saw that it was indeed in his memory that the precious genetically modified rice variety number no. 9 was sent to him. After Wu Siyuan signed for it, he arrived at the hall with the number no. 9 genetically modified rice seed. As the saying goes, take it as it comes. Because of anxiety, there is no other way. Wu Siyuan, following the plot of his novel in his memory, felt a small bull horn from his body. Following Qian Pinji's memory, he focused his attention and perceived this small bull horn. Then, he felt a sudden enlightenment in front of him, and a picturesque and beautiful world appeared before him. Wu Siyuan's mind and body walk on the land in this small ox horn space. He thought for a moment and planted number 9 genetically modified rice seed on this acre of land. 
At the same time as the successful planting, this small cow horn space finally accumulated enough energy, upgraded to level 1 space, expanded the area by 2.5 acres, and successfully bound Wu Siyuan's will. Yes, the little bull horn space. Call it the Shinom horn space, as in the novel. The spiritual binding is Wu Siyuan's will, as can be seen from its pop. Up Attribute Box After the upgrade, the Shinong Corner Space began to synchronously transform the body of Wu Siyuan, the host, and bestowed that spirit act skill. In the following time, Wu Siyuan felt like he had obtained a fun toy, playing non-dot-stop in and out of the Shinong Corner Space. At noon, Lucina, who is also a member of the World Green Association, called. Wu Siyuan pretended to be Qian Pinji and told Lucina that she suddenly had a fever, requesting Lucina to come and take care of herself and delay her departure. Because Wu Siyuan, who is familiar with the plot of the novel, knew that the plane that Qian Pinji and Lucina were on would crash and explode due to the protagonist's destruction halo. Due to unknown reasons, the original Qian Pinji travels through another magical world under the protection of the Shinong Corner space. Wu Siyuan is also quite eager for that magical world, but he has no desire to try it out and the uncertainty is too strong when he uses explosion death as a way to embark on a new journey. So he lied and didn't go, while also deceiving the white girl back. When the white girl Lucina hurriedly arrived at Qian Pinji's villa, she saw Wu Siyuan, who was busy with her leisure time. Isn't it sick? Lucina originally wanted to question, but Wu Siyuan also came up with an excuse, and at this moment, the time came to 1.30 p.m. The scene in front of Wu Siyuan suddenly darkened. When he regained consciousness, he found himself back in the familiar room. Is this a dream? But can dreams be so real? A hundred thoughts were surging in Wu Siyuan's heart, and suddenly, a spiritual light flashed through his mind. The Shinong Corner Space, which recognizes the Lord, is itself bound to the soul. If the dream is real, then Wu Siyuan focused his attention and soon, a picturesque land space emerged in front of him. The golden radiance in the sky fills all things, it is a ball of light, hanging dozens of meters high, and everywhere is filled with a fragrance even more fragrant than rain. The entire sky was shrouded in a beautiful halo, and below was a field filled with the scent of soil. A small stream divided the field in half. The stream was only about 40 meters long, but it was turbulent. The water was a bit cool but clear, and some fish were swimming inside. On both sides of the stream, there are dozens of fruit trees planted in the fields, as well as a small piece of wheat. From time to time, bees and butterflies fly by. Wu Siyuan looked ecstatic and muttered incessantly, so this is real, this is real, this is real. He seemed to be able to see the beautiful future waving towards him. It took a long time for Wu Siyuan's heart to calm down and regain his rationality. He seemed to remember something, opened his clothes, and indeed found a small horn-like tattoo on his skin. This Shinong corner space really came with the soul. End of this chapter Chapter 2. Physical Attribution and Skills. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 3. Selling Fish. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 4. Deliciousness. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 5. Lingyan, Usage. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5, Lingyan, Usage Market, Zhangjiang Aquatic Product Store. Boss, do you still have that grass carp yesterday? Sold out. When will it be available? It's noon. Okay, leave me a note. It doesn't need to be too big, it's only about 10 pounds. I'll come and pick it up at noon. As soon as the customer left, the seafood shop owner called Wu Siyuan's phone. Xinye Community, 
Room 1903. What? How much do you want? Okay, I'll send over 200 pounds later. 200 pounds is not enough. How much do you need? 400 pounds. 400 pounds, okay, I'll go arrange it. Last night, Wu Siyuan, who was busy studying the Shenong corner space, ran from the bed with a tired face. After a simple wash, he picked up his phone key and rushed out of the door. 10.30 a.m. Market, Zhangjiang Aquatic Products Store. How many pounds? 428 pounds. Okay, I'll take them all. Alipay will transfer them to you. Okay. D, your Alipay bill is 3,000 yuan. Received. On the third day. Xiao Wu, help me bring 1,000 pounds of grass carp over. Xingu, there aren't as many grass carp left. How much more do you have? I estimate there are still over 600 pounds of grass carp left. Is that all? Is that all? No more. There are not many farmed fish. However, there are still some silver carp, blue carp, bighead carp, and a little tilapia. Do you want them? How many are there? Not a lot. It only adds up to five or six hundred pounds. What about the quality? Just like this batch of grass carp. It's from the same fish pond. After this batch is released, the next batch won't know how long it will take. Okay, bring it over to me, brother. I'll give you a genuine price. Okay. At 10 o'clock. Grass carp weighs 633 pounds, and I won't take advantage of you either. I'll give you 7.5 yuan per pound, which is 4,747.5 yuan. The remaining fish species, according to Balabara's calculations, are 5,158 yuan. The two add up to 9,905.5 yuan. I'll round you up to 10,000 yuan. Shingu, how can this be done? It's not easy for you to make money. Listen to me, Xiao Wu. The quality of your batch of fish is really good, and it has brought me many repeat customers. I want to thank you for that. Next time you have such high dot quality fish, remember to contact me as soon as possible. The price is easy to negotiate. Okay, Brother Sheng, don't worry, I will do it. What Wu Siyuan didn't notice was that every time he sold the fish, an extremely faint light flashed over his unnamed iron ring. On March 10, 2012, just three days had passed since Wu Siyuan obtained the golden finger. He knew that he would make money with the schools of fish in the Shenong corner space, but he didn't expect that the naturally pollution.free wild fish growing in the Shenong corner space would be so popular. On the first day, Wu Siyuan spent 1,380 yuan, including warehouse rent, received 1,430 yuan, and left a balance of 50 yuan. The next day, Wu Siyuan spent 80 yuan, on the fair, earned 3,000 yuan, and left a balance of 2,920 yuan. On the third day, Wu Siyuan spent 160 yuan, for transportation, earned 10,000 yuan, and left a balance of 9,840 yuan. In three days, the total balance is 12,810 yuan. This 12,810 yuan has solved Wu Siyuan's urgent need. After returning to his room in the community, he took the initiative to transfer 1,647 yuan of rent to the landlord, who received it in seconds and didn't even send a single one. After a while, the landlord finally sent a voice with a local dialect accent. Remember to pay the rent on time next time. Wu Siyuan also does not return landlord information, but instead counts his remaining assets. The profit from selling fish this time, combined with the 1,300 yuan he had on hand before, adds up to 12,463 yuan. It's not much to say about this amount of money. If it's not much, after all, it's worth tens of thousands. Then another five days passed. The company gave him a salary card of 3,900 yuan. Although he had previously estimated a salary of 4,150 yuan, 
which was 250 yuan less, Wu Siyuan was also too lazy to theorize for these 250 companies. After deducting the expenses of these five days, there is still 16,363 yuan. What can 16,363 yuan do in this society? If you sit idly by, you won't be able to hold on for a few months. If we continue to sell fish, the fry in Shenon Cape space will need time to grow. Moreover, Wu Siyuan does not want to turn himself into a simple fish dealer. The trading of aquatic products in the short term is not a big problem. If it continues in the long term, without a reasonable source of goods, he will be targeted sooner or later. This road is blocked. If Wu Siyuan wants to find a job again and become a social animal, he, who has the golden finger, Shinon Corner Space, is not willing. But with the possession of Shinon Corner Space, Wu Siyuan flipped through the online articles and finally found that in this modern society where surveillance is everywhere, there doesn't seem to be any quick way for Wu Siyuan to make money without committing illegal acts. After thinking about it for a while, Wu Siyuan realized that his hope might fall into the spirit eye skill bestowed upon him after upgrading to the Shinon Corner Space. Ling Yen. It can observe the spiritual energy of plants. Observing the spiritual energy of plants, this skill looks a bit weak. At least Wu Siyuan initially thought so. But by chance, Wu Siyuan discovered that this skill could also observe the spiritual energy of plant fruits. If the fruit of a plant is fresh and ripe, then under the skill of spiritual eye, the spiritual energy presented by the fruit is red. The darker the red color, the more ripe the fruit is. If it is overripe, it will rot. The rotten fruit, under the spirit eye skill, is black. If the fruit is not mature enough, then the color displayed under the spirit eye skill is blue. This actually opened another window for Wu Siyuan. As is well known, as a non-dot-standard product, the most difficult thing to control for fruits is their quality. Every time a fruit is cut open, there is a feeling of opening a blind box. This is not only for customers, but also for fruit shop owners. Of course, fruit shop owners may have had more exposure and some experience, so their eyes may be a bit sharp. But it is still inevitable to get some fruits of poor quality or directly rotten. Like going to a wholesale market to buy fruits, some fruit categories are not opened at all, and it's just a matter of luck. Although the gross profit of fruits is high, the loss is also high. If calculated in this way, the profit is actually not much higher. But Wu Siyuan has a spiritual eye. It allows Wu Siyuan to easily see the quality of fruits without having to taste them directly. If the quality of the fruit is good, then the corresponding loss of the fruit will decrease. If the loss is reduced, then the net profit of the fruit will increase, won't it? The more Wu Siyuan thought about it, the more he felt that opening a fruit shop was a good idea. And Wu Siyuan still remembers that there is a batch of blooming fruit trees in the Shinnong Corner space. After the fruit trees bear fruit, these fruits can also be taken to fruit shops for sale. If these fruits without cost are sold, they will all be profits. Although compared to the protagonist's journey to fame in many online novels, Wu Siyuan's idea of opening a fruit shop is quite low. But what does it matter? Making money is the master. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Fruit Business You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Fruit Business Wu Siyuan thought of it and went ahead to do it. His first task was to visit the local fruit wholesale market for inspection. After searching for the address of the nearest fruit wholesale market online, he took a taxi to go at 3.30 a.m. the next day. The peaceful scene on Yangqing Street at 3.30 a.m. is completely different from the noise during the day. The taxi that Wu Siyuan took was unobstructed, and in less than 20 minutes, he arrived at the Jiaha Fruit Wholesale Market. Jiaha Fruit Wholesale Market is a small and medium dot-sized fruit wholesale market, but by 4 o'clock in the morning, it was already bustling with people and traffic. After Wu Siyuan made the payment, he followed a long path into the fruit wholesale market. 
In front of the fruit wholesale stalls along the street are various fresh fruits, and on the wide ground not far from the stalls, there are 6.8-meter trucks parked, each carrying at least tens of thousands of kilograms of single-category fruits. Next to the trucks, there is a small table, with one or two people sitting behind the table and a nearby weighing scale. Occasionally, customers walk past these fruit trucks, stop to ask for prices, and take a look at the fruits. Interested customers still cut a fruit with a knife and taste it. If you are satisfied, you will place an order on the spot. If you don't like it, you will leave with a smile and go to the next house. People come and go, a bustling scene. And Wu Siyuan, as a newborn calf, broke into the kingdom of this fruit. Wu Siyuan walked along the stalls along the street, room by room, to see how other merchants inquired about prices and occasionally took the initiative to inquire about wholesale prices. In fact, the wholesale prices of various stalls are similar, only a difference of one cent and two cents. Of course, in the fruit wholesale industry where small profits are obtained through volume, one cent and two cents are already the difference between loss and profit. However, if you take less goods, if it's only one cent or two cents, the difference is not really significant. I'm just doing business, every penny is hard won, and I have to compete for every penny and two cents. These words are far-fetched. Let's return to the issue of fruits. Wu Siyuan had also had contact with the bosses of the fruit industry before, and he always heard them say that the water in the fruit industry is very deep. Indeed, these non-dot-standard products, which are difficult to control in quality and require high timeliness, are not easy to do well and make money. Those who start their careers must pay enough tuition fees and persevere in order to have the opportunity to survive in this field. However, for Wu Siyuan, who holds a golden finger, it is not a problem at all. Ling Yan allows Wu Siyuan to see through the quality of fruits, which can minimize the loss of fruits during procurement. Of course, if the fruit cannot be sold, it will rot if left for a few days. This is the loss. However, Wu Siyuan has the Shenong corner space. He has been reviewing the novel, Heart of Heavenly Punishment, these days and found a separate area in the Shenong corner space, which seems to be specially prepared for storing plants. Some herbs placed in it will remain in their original state. Plants can, and of course, there is no problem with their fruits. Of course, this preservation area is not large, but for a fruit shop owner who is just preparing to go on the road, it is already sufficient. The timeliness of fruits also cannot hinder Wu Siyuan. The two major challenges with fruits are no longer a problem for Wu Siyuan. In that case, if Wu Siyuan still loses money in his fruit business, then nothing can be justified. At dawn, the flow of people at Jiaha Fruit Wholesale Market also began to decrease, and Wu Siyuan also had a rough understanding of the market situation. After thinking it was almost over, he didn't pick up the goods and left the Jiaha Fruit Wholesale Market directly, starting to look for suitable stores. To be honest, in his current situation, being a ghost stall would be more suitable for him. Low investment and low risk. However, as someone with the Shenong corner space, he really doesn't want or want to be a ghost driven around by others. Isn't it just a gamble? What are you afraid of with such a high success rate? And even if it fails, with the golden finger of Shenong corner space, are you still afraid of failure? It has to be said that the golden finger of Shenong corner space gave Wu Siyuan a lot of confidence, making him confident that even in the worst dot case scenario, the end of the world, he would not starve to death. It was this confidence that gave Wu Siyuan great confidence, and also made him vigorously cross the streets and alleys to find a suitable stall. Every day in Yangcheng, there are shops that are being sold, and there are also shops that are opening in good luck. Whether on bustling streets or deserted alleys, you can see stickers with the words, shop for rent, written on them. The shops in bustling areas have a high flow of people but expensive rent. The rent for shops in Lingqing Alley is cheap, but there are few people. Some shops are being crushed by the increasing rent from landlords. Some shops are trapped to death by decreasing foot traffic. 
The shop that Wu Siyuan is looking for cannot be a place with sparse foot traffic, because nowadays, the aroma of wine is afraid of deep alleys, let alone the fruit industry, which is a rotten street. It may have been busy for more than a month, and even the rent for the shop has not been earned back, let alone labor costs. The place Wu Siyuan is looking for is preferably close to the residential area or school, or it is the Feng Shui treasure land of a unique urban village in Yangcheng. These places have high foot traffic, which is why business is good. But Wu Siyuan turned around and found that such a good area either had already been known for its famous flowers or had expensive rent. A 50.60 square meter shop could easily cost around 800 to 900 yuan. Wu Siyuan calculated in his heart for a moment, but couldn't help but shake his head. He couldn't afford to rent, he couldn't afford to rent. After struggling for two days, Wu Siyuan unintentionally inserted willows into the shade and surprisingly found a suitable stall on the commercial food street supporting the rented Xinye community. Yes, it's a stall, not a shop. It is a fixed location on the commercial food street, less than 20 square meters to the left of a store called Hongwang Supermarket. The owner of Hongwang Supermarket is a middle dot aged Chaos Han person in his 30s, surnamed Chen. He rented out this location for a monthly price of 2,200 yuan and sold fruits to Wu Siyuan. At night when the stall was closed, the supermarket owner agreed that Wu Siyuan could put the unsold fruits in his store. To be honest, renting the position of a supermarket owner for 2,200 yuan per month is a bit expensive in terms of price. It just feels like it's not worth it. This is also one of the reasons why the supermarket owner hasn't rented out this place for a long time. On the positive side, although you need to pay 2,200 yuan in rent to the supermarket owner every month, you don't need to pay a deposit like normal merchants do. If Wu Siyuan feels that he has not done a good job, he can completely abandon it at any time without worrying about not being able to collect the deposit, because he already has no deposit. On the other hand, the location of Hongwang supermarket has a high foot traffic. The owner said that the daily turnover of the supermarket is often around 8,000 or 9,000 yuan, and when the business is good, it can even exceed 10,000 yuan. That's also why he can sustain this store with rent of tens of thousands. Wu Siyuan selling of fruits does not conflict with his supermarket business, and perhaps it can attract a portion of customers instead. If a portion of these customers also buy snacks, drinks, and cigarettes at his store, it will be the extra profit he earns. End of this chapter Chapter 7 Preparation and Procurement You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Preparation and Procurement Opening a store requires a lot of preparation work, even if Wu Siyuan runs a fixed location ghost stall. I need to buy a plastic frame to hold fruits, and I also need to buy a few tablets. The tablet is placed on top of a plastic frame to write prices and display fruits to attract customer attention. In addition, electronic scales, plastic bags, payment codes, and fruit knives, as well as buckets for easy cleaning of water, are all essential. Of course, the most important thing is to have a car. Having a van is definitely the best but Wu Siyuan's meager funds cannot buy a domestically produced guangguang for tens of thousands of yuan. So Wu Siyuan had to settle for a second place and found a second dot hand market to buy a 70.8% new electric tricycle. This cost 1,500 yuan. In addition to other expenses, the scattered expenses added up to 2,000 yuan. Including the already paid registration fee of 2,200 yuan, it means that 4,200 yuan was spent. At this time, Wu Siyuan still had a total of 12,163 yuan in funds. Everything is ready, only the east wind is missing, no, only the fruit is missing. On March 21, 2012, at 3.30 a.m. Wu Siyuan got up early in the morning and rode his beloved electric bike, buzzing towards the Jiaha Fruit Wholesale Market. He traveled at lightning speed all the way, and after about 30 minutes, he arrived at his destination. Following the flow of people and vehicles, he entered the Jiaha Fruit Wholesale Market. 
Along the way, Wu Siyuan drove his spiritual eyes and scanned the fruit stalls and fruit trucks on both sides. Bright red, rotten purple, green and astringent. Different colors reflected in his eyes. This doesn't work, the fruit is too ripe. This appearance is too unattractive, no one wants it at all. The kid selling fruits must be a beginner, waiting to pay tuition fees. Oh, this seems to be okay, but some of them are overcooked and all turn purple. If you go to buy from him, remember to pick them out. Pooh, this stall is not good. The fruits sell so well, but the quality inside is too uneven. Negative Review Wu Siyuan carefully drove his electric tricycle while secretly evaluating the quality of fruits at various stalls in the fruit wholesale market. With his keen eyes, he feels like the most beautiful guy in this fruit wholesale market, and no one should think of taking advantage of him. Suddenly, a batch of brightly colored green dates burst into his eyes. Oh no, this jujube shop is fine. Green dates are a tropical and subtropical fruit. The fruit is rich in nutrients, crispy, sweet and delicious, containing a large amount of vitamin C, calcium, phosphorus, vitamin B, carotene, etc. It is known as a vitamin pill and has the saying, eating three jujubes a day, immortality. Qingzhou, due to its beautiful shape and flavor of apples, pears, and dates, is also known as the tropical little apple in Taiwan. Wu Siyuan stopped and took the initiative to inquire, Boss, where are these green dates produced? From Hainan. The boss was busy weighing and settling accounts for another customer, but didn't have time to pay attention to Wu Siyuan. It was a middle dot aged and overweight lady with blonde hair who answered Wu Siyuan's question. Wu Siyuan had already done his homework before and learned about the market situation of some green dates. There are three main varieties of jujube, mainly Taiwan jujube, Hainan jujube, and Iwu jujube. Hainan big green dates can weigh up to half a kilogram and are usually the size of an egg. However, their taste is different from other types of dates. In addition to the apple flavor, they also have the flavors of pear and big dates, making them one jujube with three flavors. Hainan green dates mature in winter and have a harvest period of up to 3.4 months. They are also easy to store and transport, and can be kept fresh for more than 10 days at room temperature and more than 30 days at low temperatures. At this time in March, it is the end of the listing of Hainan green dates. How do you sell it? Although Wu Siyuan asked about the price a few days ago, in the fruit industry, one price per day is not an exaggeration. The fruit wholesale market naturally follows suit. 3 yuan per kilogram. Sell by box. The average weight per box is 10 pounds. If you don't open the box, which one you prefer replied the blonde-haired landlady. Due to poor storage control, many fruits are sold in boxes. In a box, there may be both good and bad. After sales will not be refunded or exchanged. Good fruits are naturally not a problem, but bad fruits need to be borne by the fruit store owner who purchases them, and the fruit wholesaler is not responsible because it is difficult to explain who is responsible for the problem after leaving the store. Anyway, if you feel that the fruit is not good, you can choose not to buy it, but if you find a bad fruit, you must recognize it yourself. This is the loss of incoming goods. If the proportion of bad cases is not high, then the natural loss is not significant. But if you're unlucky and run into a whole box full of rotten fruits, then the money has been wasted and there's nowhere to say. Because it was chosen by oneself. Just like many women who marry husbands and have children, when they encounter someone who is not ambitious or mischievous, they can only mutter, this is their own choice. This was chosen by oneself. Even bitterness can only be swallowed by oneself. Can you try it? Wu Siyuan asked. Try whatever you want. This is already the rightful duty of the fruit industry, so the landlady gestured to Wu Siyuan to be casual. Wu Siyuan opened his spiritual eyes and picked two Hainan green dates with slightly different colors from the pile in front of him. He wiped them with his clothes and took a bite each. 
Well, it's crispy and refreshing. A creaking sound. Okay, just give me five boxes. Considering the first time selling fruits, even if there was space in Shinon Corner, Wu Siyuan didn't dare to buy too much, so he asked for five boxes. I want this box, that box, um, the box next to it. I don't want this box, I want the two boxes on the left. I want these five boxes. The green dates selected by Wu Siyuan are all under the Lingyan skill, with the best performance in Lingguang. It's not that 100% of fruits are of superior quality, but rather that rotten fruits have the least amount of bad fruit. In this way, the loss is naturally the lowest. Although he bought it happily and didn't bargain, the selection process was a bit troublesome, making the fruit stall guy who helped him pick up the goods move up and down a bit uncomfortable. How could other fruit shop owners who came to purchase like this? Fortunately, Wu Siyuan didn't require much goods, so he worked hard and moved out five boxes of Hainan green dates, peeled and weighed them separately. 12.1 pounds, 11.3 pounds, 9.8 pounds, 10.4 pounds, 10.2 pounds. All of them add up to 53.8 pounds, which adds up to 161.4 yuan. After deducting the odds, the fruit wholesale stall owner only charged 160 yuan. After making the payment, Wu Siyuan asked the clerk to help move the jujube box onto the electric tricycle, and then set off to the next stall that he liked. At 5 o'clock in the morning, Wu Siyuan's electric tricycle was filled with fruits, including Hainan green dates, local bananas, crystal red fuji, white meat dragon fruit, and so on. There weren't many fruits in the current season in March, and during the first trial, Wu Siyuan didn't take many varieties. Instead, he chose some relatively popular fruit products, with a total of over 400 kilograms, and a total expenditure of 987 yuan. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. First Order. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 First Order Wu Siyuan did not immediately open the Hongwang supermarket, as it was not even open at this time. The first place he went was the remote underground warehouse he rented for 500 yuan. After driving the car into the lower level warehouse, Wu Siyuan pulled up the iron gate and began unpacking, selecting, and sorting. Under the The Spirit Ike skill, any bad, rotten, or unripe fruit is easily picked out by Wu Siyuan. Finally, select a weight that does not exceed 5 pounds, and the loss rate of incoming goods is around 1%. This data can be considered terrifying. Many fruit shop owners have a purchase loss rate that is more than 10 times that of Wu Siyuan. Of course, unless the fruit is particularly bad and obvious, most bosses will not throw away these relatively poor quality fruits, but will mix them together and sell them out. Wu Siyuan claims to have the Ling Yan skill and the Shinong Corner Space fresh dot keeping box, and he disdains it at all. If he wants to sell it, he must sell it well and put on his own brand. How could his future grand ambitions be limited to a small fruit shop? The bad fruits that were picked out were directly thrown into the space of Shinong Corner by Wu Siyuan, and the soil was dug up and buried inside. The built that in effect of Shinong Corner space will decompose these fruits into nutrients for spatial evolution. The Shinong Corner space relies on these life energies for evolution. But then again, after the last evolution of Shinong Corner Space, about 1.25 acres of fertile land have been added. At this point, there is a blank space above. Wu Siyuan certainly won't waste land, but how to use this acre of land has really hurt him. There are already a batch of fruit trees, and rice and wheat have also been planted. After careful consideration, Wu Siyuan ultimately decided to plant seasoning crops such as scallions, coriander, garlic, and ginger. These crops are easy to grow, have a short harvest period, and are also a good supplement to the entire Shinong corner space. The generated life energy may be slightly less. But it's okay, the days ahead are long, and it's also convenient to replace any good crops in the future. A while ago, Wu Siyuan went to a specialized market and bought a bunch of seedlings to come back. The price is not expensive. 
Wu Siyuan roughly divided about 1.25 acres of fertile land into four parts and planted four types of seasoning crops. Shenong Corner Space has a special ability to display holograms of plants planted inside and also display various preliminary data of the plant. The owner of Shenong Corner Space can efficiently manage various plants in the space based on this ability. It has to be said that just this skill alone, this, Shenong Corner Space, can be called a divine tool for agricultural practitioners. Not to mention the entire Shenong Corner Space, which also has functions such as, no pests, no wind frost, and, increasing the beneficial plant effect by 10%, it has infinite potential. Wu Siyuan, based on the crop situation displayed in the Shenong Corner Space, watered and fertilized them as needed, and his attention returned to real life. To get to the point. After selecting the bad fruits, Wu Siyuan placed about half of them in a special area in the Shenong Corner Space. This special area can keep the fruits intact, making it the favorite super cold storage for those in the fruit industry. After sorting the remaining half of the fruits on the electric tricycle, they were placed on electronic scales, plastic frames, payment codes, and plastic bags. After they were almost ready, they drove their beloved electric tricycle towards the location of Hongwang Supermarket in Xinye Community. The time has arrived at 7 o'clock in the morning. The sky in March in Yangcheng has already brightened. When Wu Siyuan first arrived, Mr. Chen, the owner of Hongwang Supermarket, had just opened the door and started doing business. I was quite surprised to see Wu Siyuan coming over with a truck full of fruits. Xiao Wu, it's so early. Good morning, Brother Chen. Only early birds have insects to eat. I'm not working hard, I'll have to drink the northwest wind in the future, Wu Siyuan said with a smile, and then got off the car and started moving the fruits. Mr. Chen from Hongwang Supermarket took the initiative to lend a hand and help Wu Siyuan unload the goods together. Chen, thank you. Wu Siyuan said to the supermarket owner. Say that. We'll have a pleasant cooperation in the future. The supermarket owner Chen pretended to be dissatisfied and glared at Wu Siyuan, then continued to help him move the fruits. Two people worked together and in less than 15 minutes, they created a small fruit stall next to the supermarket, neatly arranged and brightly colored. As for the electric tricycle, it was driven to the back of the supermarket and locked up. Xiao Wu, the quality of your fruit looks good. Supermarket owner Chen wiped a little sweat from his forehead and said to Wu Siyuan, somewhat surprised. Yes, Brother Chen, I've been preparing for a long time and just wanted to get off to a good start on the first day. Wu Siyuan opened his eyes and said in a lie. In fact, he relies entirely on a skill called Lingyan. Yes. Doing business requires a good start. Supermarket owner Chen gave Wu Siyuan a thumbs up. Chen Gu, thank you just now. Come on, take a look at the fruit on the stall. Choose whatever you like. It's my thank that you gift. Wu Siyuan said. Say that. Supermarket owner Chen recited this catchphrase again, his gaze scanning Wu Siyuan's fruit stall. He remembered that he hadn't eaten breakfast yet, and it's not a problem to always eat instant noodles every morning. After some thought, he said to Wu Siyuan, how about this? You come with me for one pound, two pounds of red Fuji apples. How do you sell these red Fuji apples? No money. Chen, you can take it if you like, a few are nothing. Wu Siyuan said. Say that again. Supermarket owner Chen repeated this catchphrase and said to Wu Siyuan, in our business people's view, it's unlucky not to receive the first order in the morning. No, we have to pay. Wu Siyuan, seeing that the supermarket owner Chen insisted, refused to go down and said, Okay, Chen, the red Fuji apples are now 4.98 yuan per kilogram. I'll charge you 4 yuan per kilogram. In fact, Wu Siyuan is buying at the fruit wholesale market. Red Fuji apples are only 2.9 yuan per kilogram, which is less than 3 yuan. Including 1% loss, the cost will not exceed 3 yuan per kilogram. 
collecting 4 yuan per kilogram from Mr. Chen at the supermarket actually earns him 1 yuan per kilogram, which translates to a gross profit of 25%. If sold at 4.98 yuan per kilogram, the gross profit would be close to 50%. Wu Siyuan picked 4 red Fuji apples at the stall that were selling well, big in size, and performed the best under the Halin Yan skill, put them in a plastic bag, and put them on an electronic scale 0.2.6 pounds. However, Wu Siyuan handed it to the supermarket owner Chen and said, Chen, 2 pounds, I'll charge you 8 yuan. Okay, just a moment. Supermarket boss Chen took the plastic bag and said to Wu Siyuan, then turned around and walked into the store. He took out an 8 yuan loose paper from the cash register and handed it to Wu Siyuan. Oh, Xiao Wu, 8 yuan is essential for doing business. I don't think you're very prepared, so I'll give you these for now. Thank you, Brother Chen, Wu Siyuan said again. What Wu Siyuan didn't notice was that after receiving 8 yuan in cash from supermarket owner Chen, his unnamed iron ring flashed a faint light. Say that. Supermarket owner Chen shook his head and turned to enter the supermarket. He took the electronic scale from the store in a corner that Wu Siyuan didn't notice, and weighed it again. It weighed 2.6 pounds. Xiao Wu is really human, supermarket owner Chen thought to himself, and then took a plastic bag and entered the restroom behind the supermarket. Wu Siyuan was watching the fruit business outside, but this scene did not catch his eye. End of this chapter. Chapter 9. Radiance. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 9 Radiance people are busy with work at 7 or 8 o'clock, and the best business is always at breakfast shops such as steamed bun shops and noodle shops. The business of Hong Wong supermarket is also good because there are always some busy office workers who come in to buy some standard bread, milk and other drinks, and may even buy a pack of cigarettes. As for Wu Siyuan's fruit, it is Menki K. Luo, and none of the business has been completed, not even asking a question. Wu Siyuan didn't feel discouraged, it's his first time doing fruit business. But he didn't expect that by around 9 o'clock, those uncles and aunties who had brought their grandchildren back in the morning would appear near the supermarket. Two of them saw Wu Siyuan's fruit stall, discussed it for a moment, and then walked slowly towards Wu Siyuan. Boss, are you a pretty fruit? asked a grandmother who looked over 50 years old but dressed neatly. Auntie, you can take a look for yourself. There's nothing unattractive about my fruit. It's sweet and delicious. Wu Siyuan patted his chest and said with confidence. This skill can give Wu Siyuan immense confidence. Uncle and grandma carefully looked at the fruits placed by Wu Siyuan. The fruits had just been sprayed with water, and they looked really bright, at least in terms of appearance. However, if you have a good appearance, it's fine. Many people buy fruits based on their appearance. Of course, Wu Siyuan's batch of fruits can only be praised as good in the sales of ordinary fruits. Chain fruit supermarkets like Qianguoyan and Jiaguoyan, which specialize in high-end residential areas, have their own fruit planting bases, direct supply from their production areas, and dedicated personnel responsible for each link. Compared to fruits like Wu Siyuan, their appearance and taste are much better, and of course, their prices are also very beautiful. There is also a Qianguoyan near Xinye community, which is decorated elegantly and looks very expensive. Wu Siyuan didn't do a single business early in the morning except for the support of the supermarket owner, but he saw several customers coming and going in and out of the Qianguoyan. Every time I go out, I hold big and small bags. Looking at Wu Siyuan, I feel envious, jealous, and resentful. Uncle and grandma took a look and did not find any faults, so they had a desire to buy. Grandma asked, Boss, how do you sell these apples, bananas, and green dates? Auntie, there's a price written here. Red Fuji apples cost 4.98 yuan per kilogram, bananas cost 2.98 yuan per kilogram, and Hainan green dates cost 4.98 yuan per kilogram. Wu Siyuan pointed to the price tag and read them out one by one to uncle and grandma. It's so expensive, boss. 
It's cheaper. Grandma exclaimed. Auntie, it's not expensive. What I'm selling is the real price, you get what you pay for. You can try it if you don't believe it, we won't charge you. Wu Siyuan said to his grandmother. In fact, red Fuji apples are purchased for 2.9 yuan per kilogram, sold for 4.98 yuan per kilogram, with a gross profit of 2.08 yuan per kilogram and a gross profit margin close to 50%. Local bananas are sold for 1.8 yuan per kilogram for 2.98 yuan per kilogram, with a gross profit of 1.18 yuan per kilogram and a gross profit margin of nearly 40%. Hainan green dates are sold for 2.5 yuan per kilogram for 4.98 yuan per kilogram, with a gross profit of 2.48 yuan per kilogram and a gross profit margin close to 50%. Older people tend to prefer taking advantage. With Wu Siyuan's words, Grandma took a green date and put it in her mouth. When she bit it, it was indeed crispy and refreshing. It's still a bit expensive, boss. Let's make it cheaper and treat it as opening the door to welcome guests. Grandma still persisted in bargaining with Wu Siyuan. Auntie, it's really the lowest price. If it's any cheaper, I won't be able to make any profit. After losing money, you won't see me again. Wu Siyuan also complained. Okay boss, just give me two pounds of Hainan green dates and three pounds of bananas. Take some less ripe bananas, and then give me three pounds of apples, Grandma finally compromised. All right, Grandma. Wu Siyuan said with a beaming expression as he skillfully bagged the goods Grandma wanted and weighed them. Two pounds of Hainan green dates, 10.9 yuan, three pounds of bananas, 9.2 yuan, three pounds of red Fuji apples, 16.4 yuan, all add up to 36.5 yuan. Grandma. Wu Siyuan used a computer to calculate and came up with a conclusion. Young man, after buying so much, I don't want any change, it's only 36 yuan, said Grandma. Okay, okay. Wu Siyuan agreed. He didn't notice that while he was trading with his grandmother, another faint light flashed through the nameless iron ring in his hand. Uncle and Grandma happily brought the fruits back. And Wu Siyuan's fruit business is just starting to open. After the first transaction, over the next few hours, more than 10 customers came in one after another. Some of them bought less and only took one pound of bananas, while others bought more and only took a dozen pounds of fruits at once. Altogether, there is a quantity of around 70 pounds. Including those two orders in the morning, the total is about 80 pounds of fruit. Wu Siyuan prepared 400 pounds of fruit, but one-fifth of the amount disappeared in a flash. And the peak night has not yet arrived. This sales record gave Wu Siyuan great confidence and also made him full of enthusiasm. At 12, noon, he ordered a fast food and bought a 500 milliliters Pepsi drink for 3 yuan from Hongwang supermarket. He ate it in the sunshine of noon. Halfway through the meal, a few guys dressed in suits and shoes passed by. One of them was attracted by the fruit on Wu Siyuan's stall and said he wanted to buy fruit and come towards Wu Siyuan. As soon as he came over, other colleagues naturally followed along. Wu Siyuan guessed from his heart that they were employees of a nearby real estate agency, as he looked at their attire and the badge on their chest. As expected, Wu Siyuan exchanged a few words with them and heard them say they were employees of nearby Zhongyuan Red Real Estate. The male agent who was the first to propose buying fruits looked at the fruit products and price tags on Wu Siyuan's stall, and then picked up a few plastic bags and packed them all together. Boss, weigh it. How much does it cost? The male agent who wanted to buy fruits handed Wu Siyuan a thick plastic bag. Wu Siyuan nodded took a few plastic bags, placed them one by one on the electronic scale, and began to weigh them. Hello, the total is 89.8 yuan. I'll erase the change for you, and you can give 89 yuan. After a while, Wu Siyuan calculated the total price and said to the male agent. Okay. The fruit-buying male agent nodded and took out his wallet to make the payment. Soon, 
Wu Siyuan received the money, so he nodded at the male agent. And the male agent turned around and shouted to his colleagues, What are you still doing? You don't want to eat fruit anymore. Hurry up and help me get it back to the company. Brother Wu is mighty. Brother Wu is handsome. Brother Wu's big order is a sign of arrogance. A wave of flattery hit, and several real estate agents happily carried several large bags of fruits, faintly surrounding the male agent who was treating them to fruit, walking towards their office. Wu Siyuan looked at this scene with a hint of nostalgia, and the nameless iron ring in his hand flashed with another ray of light. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Prosperity, Thanks to the Invincible's Journey to the Heavens and Solitude You are listening at NovelFull.audio This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator.